Right, today I'm going to show you um, a method to top up an uh, inhibitor into your radiator. So what I've found, um, I've taken the end cap off. Uh, this radiator has been drained completely just because I had to plaster behind it because of some damage. Um, so I thought I'd just top up the inhibitor. So I've taken the end cap off and I found an elbow joint. I had an old one and I've just attached a bit of plastic piping onto it. So it screws straight on and what I've done is just put a bit of PTFE tape on there. So I've got a funnel and so what I'm going to do initially, I'm just going to get a bit of uh, plumber's mate. I don't know if this really requires, I just don't want it to leak too much when I pour it in. So obviously I want to pour it in through the funnel. I'll just take a little bit of this. First time I'm trying this out. So let's see if it works. So I've got the plumber's mate ready. Let me get a bit of duct tape as well. So I match this up a fair amount. Put the plumber's mate just to seal it a little bit. Won't be a perfect seal. And then just duct tape around it. Obviously temporary so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so if you see in there, you can just, just about, see, you can see some of the plumbers may coming out, just like that. I don't, I haven't done this, so what I'll do, here, over here, over here, I'll just open up the bleed valve on this side, yeah, and then we come back. Open this up. Let's hope this works. Okay. I'll just hold on to that and just slowly pour it. And just holding on to the joint. I think it will be fine, to be honest. Are we seeing any water coming out, Jeff? No. Go down, go to the joint. The joint at the bottom. To the radiator. To the radiator. Yeah. Just there, look, look. Show oh it there. no, no water's coming out there. Show it on the... Yeah? Okay, go on. Bring the camera up. Here, here, here. Got my hands off the joint. Doesn't seem too bad. I'm not getting any leaks, so it looks like it's worked. Oh, I should have gone slower on that one. Okay, there you go. Inhibitors all in there. And no mess. I can just take it off again, so if you hold it. Um. Obviously it just unscrews from here and just twist it around and it will just come off again. There you go. Thanks for viewing.